Hello everyone, in this lesson I'm going to show you how to draw a straight line. There are two main methods, I'm going to start off with the table method. So, as the name suggests, we will need a table, you then need X and Y, you will then choose three points. So for example, you could choose minus 2 as your X, 0 as your X, and 2 as your X. You then plug those values into this equation to find the matching Y value. So for example, for the first X value, you could choose, you chose minus 2, and you can choose whatever you like, by the way. It's just nice to choose something negative, then a 0, and then something positive. But you could have chosen minus 3, 0, and 3, or minus 1, 0, and 1. It's up to you. Now if you had to go type this in on the calculator, you are going to end up with 0. Okay, so we just fill that in on the table. Then we move on to the next point, so x is now 0. So we say y equals to 2, bracket 0 plus 4, and that would give you a y value of 4. You then plug in 2, so that would be y is equal to 2 times 2 plus 4, and that's going to give you a y value of 8. We can now draw the graph. Okay, so always remember that x is on the horizontal and then y is on the vertical. So the first point is minus 2 and 0. So it's x value of minus 2, but a y value of 0. So it's literally on that line. Then we've got a, the second point is 0 and 4. So the x is 0, meaning we're not going to go left or right, but we're going to go straight up to 4. So there we have it. Then the last point is 2 and 8. So 2 on the x, so there we go, and then 8 on the y. So up to there, and then we put a little dot. And there we have it. We then put a line right through those dots, and there you have yourselves a straight line. So that is called the table method. Now, a different way to do it is to use the intercept method. Let me show you that. So, intercept method. You've got to think about what that means. Intercept is the places where the line cuts the y and where it cuts the x-axis. So, we are going to find the intercepts. So, we're going to find two points, okay? And we don't know where they are, but I'm going to show you how to find them. So, let's think about the x-axis for now. If we want to know where does that line go through the x-axis, maybe the line looks like this, then it would be over there. Maybe the line does this, then it would be over there. To find that out, we're going to do the following. On this line that I'm showing you now, the x-axis, the y values are always 0. So what we do is we go to our equation and we make the y value 0. And then we simply do this. And then you solve this equation to find x. So to find the x-intercept, we make y0. I'm just going to summarize that here. To find x-intercept, you make y equal to 0. Okay, so now if we go solve this, we know that this plus 4, we can take it to the left. There's various ways to do this. I'm just trying to keep this 2x positive, so we're going to end up with 2x equals to negative 4. To get x alone, you then divide both sides by 2, and so x is going to equal minus 2. So we knew that we were somewhere on this line over here, but where specifically? Where x is minus 2. So now we can put a dot over there. Now we're going to work on this line, and we're going to find the intercept there. On that line, x is always 0. So to find the y-intercept, we will make x equal to 0. So we go to our equation, and we make x equal to 0. So y equals to 2, 0 for x. And if you go work that out, you're going to get 4. So we knew we were somewhere on this line over here, but we didn't know exactly where. But now we know that we are at the place where y is equal to 4. And there we have our two points, and you actually only need two points to draw a straight line. And so there we have it. Okay, so we have two methods, table method and intercept method. With the table method, you should find, you could find two points in the table method as well, but many teachers will tell you to find three. Then for the intercept method, which is the one we've just done now, you only find two points. You find the x-intercept by making y0, then you find the y-intercept by making x equal to 0. Just remember that. To find the y-intercept, you make x0, and to find the x-intercept, you make y0.
All right, so to end off this lesson, we are going to practice both methods. We are going to draw the line y equals to 3x minus 6 using the table method and the intercept method. With the table method, let's just use two points. I know many teachers want you to use three, but you only need two points. It's just going to save you time. All right, so we draw ourselves a table, and then the trick is to choose two points that are one is negative, so for example, minus two, and the other one's positive. So what we do is we plug those x values into the equation So to get the y value. So it will be y equals to three, bracket, minus two, minus six, and that's gonna give us a y value of minus 12. So we fill in y value of minus 12. We then do the same with this x value, so that will become y equals to three, two, minus six, and that's gonna give us six minus six, which is zero. And so now we have two points. We've got the point minus 2 that goes with minus 12. And then we've also got the point 2 that goes with 0. And so we can put those on our graph. So I'm just going to do a rough sketch graph. And I'm not going to go label it minus 2 minus 12. It's going to take a long time. But minus 2 would be somewhere to the left. And then minus 12 would be somewhere down here. So the line's going to be approximately over there. Then at the point 2 and 0, 2 on the x would be somewhere over here and then zero on the y. So it's a dot that's on the x-axis. And let me just label that minus two and minus 12, two and zero. You can then draw your line and there is our line. Now we use the intercept method. And so we need to find the x-intercept. To do that, you make y equal to zero. So you let me just write down this equation. And so we make y equal to zero and then you solve for x. So you can take the minus six over, so it becomes positive. You then divide both sides by three, and so x is two. So when y is zero, x is two. So we can say that when y is zero, x is two. So there's our point. See how we've got the y value equal to zero. Okay, and then we need to find our y-intercept. To do that, we make x equal to zero. So we take the equation and we make x equal to zero. And so that's going to be minus 6. So when x is 0, then y is minus 6. And so there we have a point, and there we have a point. So now we can draw our graph. So if we go do this point first, x is 2, and then the y is 0. So it's on the line. The intercepts are always on the line. And then with this one, your x is 0, but your y is minus 6. So it just goes down over there. And then you can put a line through that. And then always label your points, so that'll be 2, 0, and 0, and minus 6. And so yes, the numbers on the graphs are going to be different, but I promise you they are actually the same line. And there you have it, guys. You've got the table method and the intercept method. Thanks for watching.